Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to a server on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This will be the same method for Android, Windows 10 Edition, as well as iOS. So, let's get right into it. So first of all, you need to make sure that you do have a Microsoft account, as in order to play multiplayer on all the Bedrock versions, you will need to have a Microsoft account. As well as that, you'll need to be either over 18, or if you are in a family account, you'll need approval from a parent. So once you have that, you can go ahead and load up Minecraft. Alright, so I've now loaded up Minecraft, and as you can see, we're not actually currently logged in. We can tell this as it says sign in on the left here. We can then click sign in, where it will then ask you to sign in with your account. So I'll sign in with mine. It says connecting, and there we go, as you can see, my username has now loaded. Your skin should also appear, but I haven't actually made a skin for Bedrock Edition yet. So now I'm going to show you how you can join your server. So first of all, click play, and then go to servers at the top. Then we want to scroll all the way down where it says add server. Then in here, the server name, you can put whatever you want to call the server. So I've called this one tutorial server. And then we need the server address. So this is just the server's IP. So to find this, go back to Pebble Host. Then once we're on here, we're going to find our IP. So if we look at our IP right here, these numbers before we get to the colon is our IP. So we'll then copy these and then we'll put them in the server address. And then we need our port. So we can remove this and then back to Pebble Host once again. And then we're going to select all the numbers after the colon. So this is 25585 for me. We'll then click copy and we'll paste them in here as well. Once we've done that, we can then click save. Then if we scroll down, as you can see additional servers, we have the server that we have created. We can then click join server and then click proceed. And as you can see, we are now actually in the server. So as you can see, it is very, very easy to join your server. If you get this error when connecting to your world, it means that something has gone wrong while joining the world. The most common cause of this is just having the IP or port incorrect. So make sure you check them that they are exactly correct. You could also try rebooting the server or contacting support if it still does not work. If you do have a dedicated IP and would like to have the default port of 19132, then you can simply just open a ticket with us. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video and hopefully it has been helpful. If it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.